everyone. Today we're going to show you a service desk dashboard that should be applicable for people that own interactive intelligence uh, slash Genesis now that they've been acquired. Um, Cisco UCCE, Avaya. Uh, what we're going to do here is put together, it's a basic dashboard following our best practices approach. Uh, we're handle, handling a lot more data volume than you're probably accustomed to, but we can do that because of the architecture and the tools we're using here. Um, and I think it helps your analysis. It will definitely aid in your analysis. So let's take a look and see what we're going to, uh, what we can put together for you. Okay, so the I'd like to begin with some of the common key performance indicators for the service desk, and this is with respect to calls specifically. Um, so we're pulling this data from the ACD system. So let's start with the KPI, and we're going to do uh, average hold time with the value goal and trend. Now for the trend, you're always using your date fields and uh, when dealing with uh, analysis services, um, which is obviously what Northcraft is, is built upon, as we've discussed. Okay, next we're going to take a look at percentage of calls on hold. Okay, another common... KPI. Uh, this average hold time number is in is in seconds, by the way, um, so you are aware. Okay, so next we're going to do percentage of calls on hold, value, goal, and trend. Let's keep that same trend. I like to keep it consistent. Uh, you don't want to have a year in one KPI and month in the other. All right. Um, next we're going to do a simple card widget here, which shows us the total total calls answered. All right, um, pretty straightforward, and you'll see why in just a minute. Right. Okay, six million. And then we're gonna look at average talk time as our final KPI here. And this will definitely help in terms of staffing and, and looking seasonally at uh, you know where call volume is highest, and we're, we're gonna even be able to Slice and dice by operator as well. Okay, all right, so let's do our value, goal, and trend. Okay, so that's average talk time. And this is in minutes. They're all specified in the KPI definition there. So you would normally see that. Okay, next we're going to do our bar and line chart. This is helpful for a number, number of different things, uh, obviously, in, in analytics but specifically with a long historical time series analysis here we're going to put together. Okay, so let's look at uh, calls answered by month and then the percentage of calls transferred as well. Okay, so we're going to look at first number as a count. There we go, calls answered. Let's do that by month. Okay, and that stretches back pretty far. So we've got a good uh, history of data, which is really important um, when drawing analytical conclusions. All right, and then we're going to look at percentage of calls transferred, which is here. And that's going to be our line, so I'm going to drag that onto the line value. <clears throat> Okay, um, so this is already beginning to tell a story. We used to have lower call volume, higher uh, transfer rate, okay, indicating a staffing issue, and it looks like we've gotten a lot better over time, which is good. Okay, next we're going to do the composition diagram, and this is going to show, again, that we have no date filters on this at this point because each of these acts as a date filter in the bar chart. So if I click on one specific month, notice the uh, numbers adjusting. Uh, the speed is due to the analytical query technology we're using called MDX. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Northcraft, there are four query languages that you can choose to use. Um, and they're sort of behind the scenes, so you don't have to learn them. But, you know, SQL, obviously, MDX, DMX, which is a data mining expression, and you'll see that in our predictive analytics videos. And uh, finally, Azure ML, Azure Machine Learning, which is newer. And it is also used for predictive and that can also be used for prescriptive. So that's uh, where we're going um, is analytics, predictive analytics with automation. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do the decomp. Uh, and this is 
a tree map. Okay. So the tree map, we're just going to look at the total call volume by agent, and that's those, you know, over time, those 6 million calls. Okay, so let's bring that number in. Okay, total calls answered. Okay, we've got all of them, and then we're going to do that by agent. Okay, so that's going to be obviously quite a bit of data. Notice, yeah, there you go. It's, it's done executing. That's a as you might imagine, a incredibly fast query against uh, six million records. Um, pretty impressive. So here, and just to uh, hide the, uh, uh, you know, some of the sensitive data in this data set, we'll look at the operator's uh, performance in just a bit. Um, and then finally, you can do the drill down table here. And again, I'll, oh, I'll uh, create a separate widget for that. Okay, create a new table widget. And here I won't show you the actual agent names and such, but we'll do that. Uh, we'll show you how you add to it. Um, you might want to do, for example, the date that the call took place. Make sure you highlight the widget that you're working on in Power BI. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that that data adjusts. So these are the calls, obviously, in October 2013. You can drag and drop and put in whatever fields you like, agent, uh, the group that they're a part of, um, you know, the call group that you've organized them into, and so forth. Okay, so back to the full data set. So over time, what this is saying is the operator on the 17th floor has taken 81,616 calls. So if I want to look at an operator's performance versus the whole, so if we have 131 seconds average hold time, and you can see it peak in one particular month, let's look at how an operator compares to that. Uh, so the average hold time is, is, is 12 seconds. Now, this is actually a good number. So uh, one thing you can do in Power BI is adjust these KPIs uh, with the color coding feature here. Really easy to do that. Just say low is good. Okay, um, so that's one thing you want to do when putting together dashboards. Okay, so 12.5 seconds, that's obviously, you know, an operator's just taking the call and transferring it. So uh, not a lot of time spent on hold there. But you can imagine what you can do with this uh, is that you can go through each agent and compare performance against uh, the benchmark performance, which would be across all time, how has performance been for us. And you can see if it's improved over time, you can compare them to later numbers which is more recent performance. Uh, so that's that's what we've got to show to, to you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And let us know if you have any questions through the YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or through the website at northcraftanalytics.com. Thank you for your time.